Hello, my name is Jacob and I work as a broker here on Jotsail. Next to me, you see this beautiful Bavaria Vitesse 420 Fly. She was built in 2014 and since then she's had one owner and she's only been used here in Sweden. During the colder months, she's been stored inside a heated hall and maintenance has been taken care of by authorized personnel. She has actually the bigger engine options. It's two Volvo Penta D6 400 engines. And she also has the joystick uh, control system. And the current owner actually optioned for a third joystick. So now you have joysticks at the helm station, up on the flyer bridge, and also in the cockpit, which really, really makes maneuvering the boat when you're by yourself or with a skeleton crew much easier. Other than that, we will find an 8 kilowatt generator, hydraulic swim platform with a jet ski, a heating system, autopilot, radar, pretty much all you need. Uh, if you want to see more picture of the boat, we have that in the ad on our website and also on Yacht World. I will put a link in the comments below directly to the different ads. But for now, let's step on board. Welcome. The cockpit. The cockpit on the Bavaria Virtes is very special compared to other boats because you can change the layout quite easily since the couch and also actually the table is on rails which means that with just a push you can move it around to make the layout of the cockpit work for whatever special situation you are in. This is a very impressive feature which I'm very happy to see and it works perfectly. On the starboard side of the cockpit, you will find the cockpit joystick, which is actually a very good place to have it since you have a clear view of the boat and it makes docking with the skeleton crew very, very easily, even if you're by yourself. The owner just told me that he usually goes out uh, by himself for a few hours, maybe to take a swim or meet up with some friends. And this really, really helps when it comes to docking. On the port side of the cockpit, we will find the controls for the hydraulic swim platform. Of course, you have hand remotes also, which is really nice if you have well, the jet ski or if you have a dinghy, since then you can lower the platform while you're in the dinghy and raise it up on the platform without stepping actually on board the boat. Uh, behind here, we have the gas locker. And this, of course, is the stairs up to the flybridge. As you can see, the steps are quite special form and that is to save some space, especially on the lower step, to create an easier flow when you're walking around in the cockpit. The Flybridge Helm Station is a direct copy of the downstairs Helm Stations. You have the, exactly the same controls, only though you have just a beautiful view of the entire boat up here, so it's very nice place when you're coming into a tighter marina and you want a good overview of the boat. It's also a very social helm station. You have uh, right next to the helm seat, you have a co-pilot seat, which fits two people. But you can also transform this into sun pad by moving the couch forward and lowering the backrest, which is just beautiful when you're out driving or even at anchor. The aft part of the flybridge, it's probably my favorite spot on this entire boat. As you can see, you have a huge couch which easily fits the entire crew and probably a few more guests. Uh, you have the table, uh, you can have it like this as a cocktail table or with just an easy push forward and fold it back. And there you go, you have a full dining table. To prepare the dinner, we have a gas grill up top with a sink just next to it. And of course, we have a fridge to keep your drinks cold. This is definitely a place I would like to spend as many summer evenings as I possibly can. As any decent motorboat in the front, we have a huge sun deck, of course, with a sun pad. It's stored inside right now. We have two cup holders on each side, but also in front we have this beautiful fender storage on both sides of the pulpit, which is really nice. You don't have to store the fenders in the engine compartment or somewhere else where they take up a lot of space. In front, we have the windlass and of course a bowsprit, so you can easily get on and off the boat if you dock in a marina or maybe even an island out in the archipelago. The saloon. 
It's a beautiful saloon with a lot of natural light thanks to these huge windows. Of course, we find a TV on a manual pop-up system. Dining table. Huge kitchen with a lot of workspace, which I really enjoy because it makes it easy to cook a larger meal and also actually to cook together, which you don't see on a lot of boats. We have a lot of storage. You have a fridge right here, two storage cupboards, fridge, drawer, storage, storage, and even up top. Three gas burners, oven, and two sinks. Beautiful saloon and kitchen. The downstairs helm station. I really want to talk about the view. You have a great view all around. It's very easy to be out and maneuvering the boat because you can you really have a 360 degree view. Also towards the back, beautiful view, which makes docking very, very easy. We also have a small window right here, which makes it, it easy to communicate with your crew while docking, if you want to do it from the inside position. Navigation wise, as I said, exactly the same as on the flybridge. The only difference is that here you have the control for the heating system and also the control panel for, for the boat. The interior lights, fridges, uh, navigation system, water system. All that is controlled from this panel. The VIP guest cabin. A lot of light here too as in the saloon thanks to this beautiful window which is beautiful design work by Bavaria. Waking up Sitting like this and just being able to look out is just astonishing. We have two separate beds, but you can convert this quite easily with a backrest to one double berth. Second guest cabin, we have a little less headroom here. That's because you have the kitchen just up top. But still, great light thanks to the side window, exactly the same as in the VIP cabin. Twin berth, but yet again, you can convert this with these backrests to one big double berth. The owner's cabin. It's times like this I really wish I had a cameraman with me because it's really hard to find a good angle to really show you the volume inside this cabin. I'm a tall guy, I'm about 193 centimeters tall and still I have quite a lot of headroom above. So that gives you at least an idea of the size of this cabin. We also have two big hull windows to let the light in. Skylight, of course. Big Iceland-sized berth. Over here we have storage in the form of drawers and actually also a TV. On both sides we have wood robes and next to me we have an ensuite bathroom with a separate shower compartment. Overall, this is a very, very well-designed owner's cabin by Bavaria and I couldn't really ask for anything else. This is just beautiful.